And welcome back to Final Bout with your host, Combat Lobster. With me again is Super Nemekians, uh, Mateo360, Corn in the Bible, and Heavy Sigh. And Big Green! I wasn't in the last video, though. Don't care. <laughs> yeah, you were. I just didn't put your audio in. No, I, I wasn't there at all. Anyways, we have some unfinished business. We gotta do a tournament. And then we gotta show off Build Up. Uh, tournament is sadly kind of not gonna be doing much because it's a uh, two-player only mode. So uh, it's just gonna be one person standing there while I beat the crap out of them. Can you really only pick, like, two stages? That's where you map all the second player keys to the same controls as player one and watch the chaos ensue. Four people? Five people? Five? Six? Do you have a multi-tap? No. Can you simulate one in an emulator? So they let you pick everyone but two people. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna do the first round and then we're just gonna cut to the last one. Oh, I understand now. It's Goku versus Goku! <gasps> <gasps> Who's gonna win? I got my bet on Goku. You're not playing as super little Goku. I'm disappointed. <laughs> well, I don't have him unlocked. I have to play the arcade mode again, because they don't save your progress on unlocks. I don't know anything about this game. What is this game? That's stupid. Are you sure you didn't miss a manual save in the options? You saw the options? There ain't nothing there. By the way, he has the sure uh, the the spitting kick, and he kicks ass. Nice. I beat myself. Look at me. Wait, he's already dead? Yeah, everyone starts out at half-life. Now see, I don't recognize Goku here, because he doesn't have a slogan T and bad hair, so he's not the Goku I'm familiar with. Alright, let's cut to the end. Hi, Luxlinger. Nice. I'm, I'm borrowing a whole lot of from Luxlinger. <laughs> Gohan versus his dad. When his dad was a child. Again. That's kind of a GT sort of thing, to be fair. Remember when Gohan became a lawyer for some reason? Was that what he- No, he became a writer. <laughs> oh. <sighs> well, he looked like a lawyer. He was a blank scholar, whatever that meant. He was a key scholar. And also he was a Superman, right? Yeah, he was the great Saiyan man. Saiyan man. Well, that was just in his- that was in his off time. It's been a long time since I watched Dragon Ball Z, to be honest. So he was trying to emulate his- his favorite hero, Superman? We did it! What was the point of picking all those characters if if it's two-player? I guess you can give each side four chances to win? I didn't realize that when I recorded it. But here's the reason why I picked it. You just wait for it. We get a, 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 a unique piece of dialogue for every character. I won! So you're gonna feed me till I'm full, right? Yes. Good. Thank you. So does this mean you went through and did every single piece of dialogue? Hell no! <laughs> you can find all that dialogue in the sound menu. Wow, that's... Did you go through the sound menu and play all the dialogue? I probably could. Alright, now time to show off the single player uh, portion of this video. We're gonna train up one of our ten fighters, and you can probably already tell who I picked. But his cell is already perfect, he needs no training. That's true. Frieza thought he was perfect, and he still trained later on. No, he was just final. There's a difference. So there are seven blocks. Each block has about ten to however many fighters are in this game. So let's go backwards from ten to one, and you're going to find out that I made a bad choice. Because not only do you get less health, you have less attack and defense points. There are hidden stats in this game. So, which means, I'm gonna have to speed this up, starting now. So, this is literally just a really bad version of the single-player content from Budokai 3, which did have a leveling system and stats you could put points into to strengthen your character. Yes. At least Budokai 3 was entertaining. Is it, is it Budokai 2 that has the board game? I heard about that. Yeah, Budokai 2 is the one with the board game. Okay. People hate that one, apparently. Is this better or worse than that? It's worse. Okay, fair enough. That's fair. Like, that that game has Tiencha. That at least has something going for it. That's the only thing I liked about Budokai 2 is the fusions. It also had more than just, like, ten characters. I think the main thing that confuses me about this game, like, beyond everything else in it, is that 
Everything looks, like, really cheap, even for, like, a PS1 game. Yeah, that's true. Like, just in characters, like, random, like, movements and attacks, they will always clip through themselves. Like, you'll see the joins where their legs are. Or, or, like, the stuff like the main menu actually having no music and being so utterly bare bones. Yeah. Like, it's so weird. Like, you saw the credits. They had tons of people working on this. And I did it. Good job. Please tell me this maxes you out. <laughs> no, but it does make it so that I can just trump everybody else in, like, one hit. This is good. Level 15. So we're gonna skip ahead, where I beat everybody else up, and a new fighter is gonna show up. Whoa, wait, level 15 with le battle power 276. That means we're about as strong as, I guess, Tau Pai Pai? Probably. Oh, no way, I don't actually skip. After this fight, I'll skip. You must demonstrate. Boo! Whoa, we're actually damaging him. <laughs> Is that how they spell boo? Why? It's Boo Rally! Also, this mode is, it advertises that the AI is supposed to learn from your moveset, and I wanted to stress test this by picking Cell, and I guess it doesn't work out because they still can't figure out how to not, like, uncheese his cheeser. <laughs> I would just love it if he just it was just a slide kick war. And we're skipping ahead. Okay, now we have a new fighter who is a quote-unquote boss character. Wait, killing number 10 got you 15 levels, killing everyone else got you 1. And that 1 we got after beating Boo. <laughs> yes. That's why you don't work backwards. Wow, that's... Can you beat Super Little Goku? Most likely. Of course I can. Watch. Yes, apparently. Oof, ow, oof, ow. I only took four slide kicks. Boo. Get it? <laughs> I could have only I could have mixed it up with a kick or something or a punch, but nope, just slides. Uh, apparently I cut the the footage out, but apparently a uh, quarter circle punch does some sort of weird wave thing. You know that wave thing that Terry does in Fa uh, Fatal Fury? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, power wave? Are you going through all seven blocks? Hell no! This is the last fight because I realize, oh shit, this guy's got a lot of health, and I do just about as much damage as the first time. So. Get me out of here. As soon as I make the cut. But we have to see who the super ultimate final boss is at the end of block 7. It's probably Baby. I bet you it's Baby. Or Super Saiyan 4 Goku. It's probably, uh, Krillin. Okay, so now here's, here's the entire point to this mode. Is that you can trade up your Pokemon man, and you can fight him against other people who have Pokemon men. Wow. It's dumb. So we can have our Cell, who is just about as strong as, I guess, Piccolo from the Piccolo Jr. fight. You're going to give me some and a Goku, who is probably weaker than Roshi. Probably weaker than Oolong, probably. Because he goes down in one kick. Man, Yajirobe would be unimpressed. <laughs> that was stupid. And then Cell, like, destroys the entire planet. Uh, no, I'm good. Thanks for the salute. Game over. Alright, so, let's go ahead and watch the other characters I didn't show off in the first video. We're gonna start with Big Green. Now I'm going to get serious. You look strong! This should be a good fight. If only Piccolo would slick his antenna back and wear, like, a plastic jumpsuit. But you used Piccolo in the training. Shut your mouth! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, like Mateo fucking said, god damn it, I showed off Piccolo in the training mode, so there's no real reason to show him off, but the reason I picked him was so that everyone can listen to his weird-ass Jack Nicholson impression. We're just about to watch Piccolo die, aren't we? Yes. Oh. Nice. No, we're seeing beam struggle. I, I lose because normal difficulty apparently hits the triangle button way more, way faster than me rubbing a battery up against it, up, up against the triangle button. A battery? It's, it's the spoon trick. Oh yeah. So basically what you're saying is to play this game you need auto fire. It might be one of those cases where the controller can't read it if you press it too fast. Mm, that's true. And you forgot to turn off Meteor again. No, I kept it on for this reason. Because 
look how much the AI loves to meteor. Okay, did Goku just glitch out? I was going to say, he's spamming it at this point. You can go up to 10. No, seriously, what is going on with his... What, what is going on with his animations here? They're just that bad. Is there any way you can get out of this? <laughs> no. And it even stunned you at the end. That's the worst part, but I, I got a little sliver of health, I can win this, guys. I swear, I got this. I just gotta spam this one punch combo. And maybe face through Goku. <laughs> <laughs> you kicked too hard. Oh no. Ah, uh, too bad. That was going well up until the part where you died. But seriously though, why does this game look so cheap? It's probably an early PS1 title for, uh, Japan. Because it was probably made on the cheap. But you saw the size of that! This is going to be a problem. I don't have time to waste here. Oh my god, I just realized he's named Trunks because of all my briefs. I'm so stupid. Oh, welcome to the party. Why can I not slap you over the internet? All this time, I never knew. Yes, and her daughter is named Bra. I know. I know that. How come he doesn't have his sword, though? Where is Trunks' sword? This is the GT version of him, where he wears shorts instead of carrying around a, sh uh, a sword. He has gloves and a scarf. But he needs his Hanzo Steel Katana. That's probably why he sucks so bad. Except for the kick combo that I'm doing right now, that's the only good thing about him. Because his little triple... Uh, key blast thing shoots in three different directions. There's no real point in doing that unless you really need to nick somebody out of the sky. I actually watched the Trunks Frieza fight today on YouTube, and it made me laugh because Yancha is there, and then he just leaves because this is crazy and he doesn't want to deal with it. And it's like, yeah, that's that's what my reaction would be to. Yeah, I also can't get over the fact that this idiot's hair looks like a helmet and not hair. <laughs> It looks like a butt to me. Uh-oh. Who's gonna win? Who's shinier? Will he make it? Will Trunks defeat Trunks? Trunks defeated Trunks. Did you win? You won! So, you know, out of curiosity, would this count as self-harm? Um, yeah. All right, let's show off Boo. Boo Rally. I mean, Majin Boo. Boo hoo. Isn't it Kid Boo, though? You should know more than anyone else that you can't defeat me. Actually, Gohan, Boo beat you, like, in the worst way possible. Well, he's gonna beat me now. The only thing cool about him is he gets fat when he powers up. Are you sure that wasn't just a model fuck-up? <laughs> no. He inflates when he powers up. Uh-oh. I think I figured out how to constantly- yeah, I can constantly block this, but he's not gonna stop him from doing it! Or maybe it will. I don't know. Oh, I can do the helicopter kick. That's cool. But it doesn't move, so there's no point in doing it. I like how it dislocates his, uh, central part as the legs do not actually need to spin with the rest of him. He can just kind of handstand. So all of this and you can't play as the best character, Raditz. Unfortunate. Despite the fact most of the characters here are from Z. Yup. Can't play as Raditz, can't play as Raccoon, can't play as Yancha, or Tien, or Chatsu. I want to play as Corin. I want to play as uh, Gohan, what are you doing? <laughs> I think you broke Gohan. Gohan? Also, Gohan has the slowest turn animation ever in the entire game. Holy fucking shit, did you see him turn? Well, look, Gohan's adult form never did anything useful, and this is just proving, further proving that. So there was that yeah. one move where I could throw my arm, but I couldn't get him- You have a rocket him. punch? Yeah, but I couldn't- Turn him into chocolate and eat him. Yeah, I couldn't get- I couldn't hit uh, Gohan with it, because every time I get in line of sight, the command I was using to do it didn't work, so... There's gonna just be a whole lot of me awkwardly punching nothing. 
because I really, really, really wanted the dude that move on him. See, I can do it there. Can't get it right in front of him. Please tell me it turns him into candy. No, no, that's the one you do with your head bit tentacle. Mm-hmm. I never... I don't know. I never got it to work. In this game, I wouldn't be surprised if they turned it into a projectile. It's lit it's not a candy beam, it's literally just you throwing a single, solitary piece of candy. Psst. What was the name of the kid who comes back in GT and is Boo? Remember? Uh, Oob, the guy, his name backwards. Yeah, that's right. Oob, with two O's, apparently. Yep. Oob. And, that, and then they combine together. I have no idea how those two correlate together, just other than that their names are backwards. Majub. Oh, God. Yeah, why isn't Oob in this fucking game? He's from GT. Why is adult Gohan using Masenko? <coughs> I'm not gonna let you beat me! I like how blocking made that do no damage. K.O. Didn't Gohan have a dumb sword too for a while? Remember that? That was when he was like five, yeah. Which was literally the Z sword? Yeah, and then he broke it and then an old man came out. Speaking of Gohan! What are you? I don't understand why there is another me, but it seems that I can't avoid fighting. Just dye your hair blue, you'll be more powerful, Gohan. <laughs> you can do it. Nah, you'll need to lose some muscle mass, too. That means Bulma is the most powerful character in the world. <gasps> so is Launch. When she doesn't sneeze. And Launch. Yeah, her hair's more purple. Launch would be more powerful if she existed anymore. No, no, Launch was the original Super Saiyan, you know how this works. Yes, but she has blue hair, that means she's reverting stages. So Gohan's a really slow character, and I can't do half the moves, even with a guide. Oh my god. But he's not more powerful than a cat. I'm not sure why, but... He's not that powerful than Whiskers the Wonder Cat. Isn't that literally basically what the villain is at the moment? Like, they're just fighting a cat. Yeah. I thought it was a dog. Uh, well, th they're trying to make Goku strong enough to fight a cat. They should give him some catnip. That'd fix it. But do they make catnips for gods? Well, they did <laughs> that for his boss. He was a mousy toy, and he's like, Oh my god! Gotta get it! <laughs> Use a laser pointer and point at the wall. <laughs> Go Goku, like, starts firing his thing, but just to make a spot, so he'll, he'll chase after it. Yeah, he uses a, a solar flare. Gives him a cardboard box. Or, or Vegeta uses that weird moon thing that he used in all the way back in uh, the sand arc that never came up ever again. Oh, the f oh the fake moon. Yeah. The same thing that Turles used. They'll just put a big box on the ground and he'll get in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a small cardboard box. He kind of folds himself up to fit in there. He's like, I totally fit in here. You don't know. And they're like, you don't fit. I can't believe it! Alright, so, there is one last character that we can't show off, but I am gonna show off. I am gonna show off. There's Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and the only way you can get him is by hitting triangle five times and hitting square nine. Also, I'm gonna unlock everybody else, because I might as well. And the code should be somewhere on the screen that I'll edit in later. It's pretty long, so that's why it's, we're going to be sitting on the menu for a while. Hey, guess what? You can push select for the sound menu. Wait, hold up. If you play, if you, like, you have to time your presses, or you just can mash it in? No, I'm. it's me fumbling around game facts for, for a second, looking for the code, and then trying to push it in. But uh, demo mode got in the way of me getting uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So, there was a demo mode. I didn't even know that was there. It's a demo, and the very first thing it shows is someone missing. Kinda like this game, really. Nice. Everybody misses in this game. Also, we get a new little, uh, opening screen there. Yeah. Every second you look there at it, he you is. Get... <laughs> His portrait looks even dumber than it does normally. 
you seem happy. All right, I'm gonna win for sure. You seem happy, not to make you unhappy. Yeah, that sounds about normal. You seem happy. It's true. Also, he has a sausage link's tail. <laughs> well, yeah, it's because if Goku gets hungry, he can get a snack. Gross. Swish, swish, nom, nom. Yeah, you know how easily detachable those tails are? So, Super Saiyan 4 Goku plays like Goku, and he has like one extra move, which I'm doing right now. But what makes him special is that he has buff stats. That's right, he could take a little more damage, and he could deal more damage. Wow, really? That's it. Yeah. Guess what? It doesn't help you against Baby at all. Baby? Baby. Of course. Now you understand how nice what? Baby, baby, baby. Is Baby in this game? Baby is in this game. You seem happy. Now, should I clean the trash of the universe? Should I clean the trash of the universe? Why you seem happy? Anyways, let's beat the crap out of Piccolo. So he's kind of like a cheese master. What does MT zero off mean? Oh, the you know that that meteor thing that was happening in, against uh, po yes. Piccolo versus Goku. Yeah, that oh, I turned, turned that, that off. off. Okay, yeah, cool. Because that's cool. that's annoying as fuck. Because that's dumb. Yeah. I wonder if Baby can do meteor. Just have this giant egg clipping all over the place. Nah. In what way is that a meteor? I, I don't know, I guess it's like because it ends with you getting thrown into the ground. I don't know. Now you understand how naive you were. Speaking of... Oh man. You were too overconfident. Let me show you to your defeat! Let me show you the new defeat. It's at this table right here. So the dragons are not in this game. You don't get to fight whatever his name is. Nah, I don't think they were. I don't think they came out at the time this was made. According to one post, this came out during the time that they were still in the baby arc. So this is why he's the last boss. And why I'm disappointed. Super Seventeen is not in this. Yeah. Uh, so I picked Goku because I wanted to show off one of, uh, Baby's little victory chants, because it's, I think it's pretty funny. But it, in order to do that, you have to take off one bar of health. Which we're gonna re-employ my ultimate strategy of getting right up in his face and just punching him. And now you can, now you can kill me. You could have probably beaten him. Yeah, I probably could have, but I mean, we, I've got something special. God. I've got something special for this fight. It's just... I love the animations. It's just like an angry child. <laughs> or a little little puny guy. He even sounds like one. K.O. <laughs> Use your brains and think. Do you think you can defeat me? You fail. Good job. So someone in the thread wanted to see the Cheese Master go up against Baby. Well, this one's for you! There's still four minutes in this video. There's a reason for that. I like that his I like that his portrait actually gets cut off for Baby. Like, it's just his, like, other portrait, but it's just cut a bit. Cheese Master, go! And unfortunately, his... <laughs> wow, that takes really little damage, so you could pretty much tell what's gonna happen in about a couple of minutes. <laughs> weird clipping. Or about 30 seconds. I love that you're just clipping into him all the time. Yeah, I got to the point where I phased through him. Yeah. This is so and... stupid. Yeah. This is so stupid. Come on. Damn. Like, this, like I just don't get how this game had so many people working on it, but their end result is this is this cheap. Like, did everyone just stand around for like at least six months of development time? And speed up.
Maybe that was a bit much. I could have taken it easy. <laughs> <laughs>